Hey, what's up guys? It is a gorgeous day here in New York and I'm hanging out in Midtown Manhattan. Today, I'm gonna show you some of the hidden secrets here in Bryant Park. Now, even though Bryant Park is relatively small at just over six acres, and it's the busiest park in the world. It has more visitors per acre per year than any other park in the world. There's still quite a few hidden secrets, like a trap door, an underground escape hatch, and even some ruins from the 1800s. But the first secret is right here in the middle of the park, right under our feet. Back in the 1600s, this land was dedicated as a potter's field, which is a nice way to say that it was a graveyard for the poor. But unlike Washington Square Park, where there are still bodies under the park, all of the bodies here were dug up and moved to Ward's Island out in the East River. That cool building behind me is the New York Public Library. And most people think that the library is just that building. But in fact, it goes under the park. Replacing the bodies are 37 miles of bookshelves directly below the grass here. The library section known as the Stacks goes below us 30 feet and extends all the way out to here, which leads us to secret number three. This box over here, which is cleverly disguised as a sign with all the major contributors for the restoration of the park, is actually an escape hatch to the stacks below. You can see there's a hinge here, and this isn't even attached, because this whole thing can lift up. When they built the stacks below the park, they knew they'd need to put in an emergency exit in case a fire or another calamity cut off access to the library. They'd have this escape hatch so they can safely get out of the stacks into the park. For the next secret, we're gonna cut over to the south side of the park right by the carousel. Not that you'd ever notice or really care to look at this, but there's no wires going into the carousel. It's because the power is actually underground from over here. You'll notice that these pavers are unique because they have a cute little frame around them. This is actually a trap door. These sections lift up and underneath it is a giant power vault with enough power to run the carousel and the entire Winter Village. The Winter Village, by the way, is the only rink in the city that is free to the public. In fact, all of the events in Bryant Park are free. It's one of Bryant Park's philosophies is to offer as many events as possible for free to the public because the more people you have in the park, the safer it is. That's why none of the chairs or tables are even locked down. You just walk off with it, but you're not going to because somebody's gonna see you and they're gonna shame you, so you don't. And we've done lots of the free things that the park has offered, from the movies that everybody knows about on Monday nights, to yoga, to even craft night. They're all fun and they're all for free. One of the things that a lot of people don't know about though is that there's free Wi-Fi throughout the park. There's Wi-Fi towers throughout the park so you can connect anywhere and it's really good internet. Not just like check your email good, but stream movies from Netflix and upload giant files to YouTube kind of good. And if you want to work here all day, the next secret is that they have outlets. There's 47 outlets throughout the park. So you can just plug in and use the Wi-Fi and just hang out and work all day long. I know it says 42, but I took one of those free tours, which you should totally do, because it was really informational and I really liked it. Uh, but our tour guide said there were 47, and I'm gonna trust her. Our next free secret is over here on the 42nd Street side of the park. It's a free bathroom. This is one of the most elegant bathrooms in the city, completely decked out with marble on the inside, and they play classical music while you're going. I'm not gonna film inside, because that's weird. The next secret is here at the fountain. The fountain actually collects three to four thousand dollars a year from people throwing coins into the fountain, which is about as much as it costs to maintain the fountain. So that helps keep the park free. So thanks for throwing coins in there. These really cool trees all throughout the park are called London Plane Trees, P-L-A-N-E. The leaves of which are actually the symbol of the New York City Parks Department, because they were Robert Moses' favorite tree. Our last two secrets are inside the library, which is technically inside Bryant Park. Now back in the 1800s, before the library was built, this used to be a reservoir called the Croton Reservoir. So if you come in through Astor Hall at the main entrance and work your way over to the left, come right through here and around this corner through these doors. Up and over this wall, Look down at the bottom there, and that's the foundation for the reservoir. This used to be the edge of the building, of the library, but just like the mat, they built an extra building inside of it. And this is where the theater is. It's a free movie if you want to watch it. We're going to head up to the third floor for the final secret. One of my favorite places in all of New York, the Rose Reading Room.
always have a special place in my heart because it's just so peaceful and so quiet and so pretty and it's hard to find places like that in New York. And that's it for my list of hidden secrets here in Bryant Park. If you liked what you saw, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because we got lots more where that came from. If you want to see more hidden secrets over in Central Park, click this video up here. If you want to see other adventures all throughout the city, this video over here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I will see you around. Bye.